and I need to get this person off. Okay. Um, let's say, yeah. Okay. So let's say I, I push into the ground or I knock her, you know, with a swing, and she's here. And now I'm going to choke her. All right. So here I'm like, ah, you're stupid. Ah, you stink. Okay. She's gonna trap my arms first. Trap an arm, trap a leg. That's the main two things. Trap an arm, trap a leg. Then she's gonna bridge high, and then roll over. Boom. Simple, easy, right? Easy. Now that's another concept. Trap an arm, trap a leg, and you can escape from a full mount. That's what. Oh no! Don't worry. We shall answer all these questions, but we'll we'll do it again. So, the way you trap your the person's hand is with a what we call a monkey grip. Okay. Now, I can get into technicalities later, but just trust me on it right now. The monkey grip is stronger if you're trying to keep someone close to you, like hooking it, like a hook. If you use a standard grip, weakest part, right, is a thumb, so they can break out. But if you have no weaker part, you just have a hook, then they can't break out of your grip. Or it's extremely difficult. Okay? So, one is getting that monkey grip on the wrist. The second is grabbing the arm right above the uh, elbow by the tricep, and then once you have that arm locked in, it's anchored to you. You're basically now hugging the arm to you. Then you're gonna trap the leg, basically hugging a leg with a leg, and then you're gonna bridge up high, which is very important, and then roll over. <laughs> the reason why you wanna bridge up high is simply physics. Now, if you are driving a sports car, and you're driving a, a Jeep, which one will flip over easier? Why? Our <clears throat> center of gravity, right. Now, if you are doing this move and someone is like 250 pounds or much heavier than you, you will feel the difference if you bridge high as compared to bridge low. Okay? Watch her do this move if you can. When she bridges super low, maybe she might be able to get me out you know, from her or not. Okay, she's going to do a super low bridge. Okay? Super low bridge. Go ahead. <laughs> See? That sucks. So crappy. Okay. <laughs> now she's gonna do a super high bridge. Watch it out. Oh. See, easy, right? Easy. So that center of gravity, keeping the hug going, it gets the person off to you. Now, another scenario. What if someone's beating your face? In, okay. What if someone is just very violent? You're probably your kid, and they will try to beat your face and like. Ah! Right? First, cover your face, right? You gotta go to work next day. Don't wanna, don't wanna get hurt. What she's gonna do now is she's gonna un destabilize me by bumping her knee and bridging up, like so. Okay? Boom. Okay? Now let's go back. Now, as I fly forward, she's not gonna give me a chance to even touch the ground. She's gonna grab my arm, trap it, trap my leg, and roll at the same time. Alright? Then do it fast. Okay? Go ahead. Boom. Done. Easy, right? Easy. So easy. So, <laughs> you, you went from like, oh my gosh, my face is getting beaten, to easy. So easy, right? That, the reason why I keep saying that is because my Muay Thai instructor, he made me do like 500 kicks in a row, and I'd be on the ground dying. He goes, easy, right? Easy. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Okay. All right, so punch, punch, punch. Boom. Crap. See, I tried to punch her again, but the momentum threw me off. So that's for this game. Lastly, that's a common attack on the ground, is arms pinned. Very scary. Um, usually guys don't do this to each other, <laughs> but women will, will, guys will do this to a woman if they are trying to have their way. So how do you get out of this predicament? First is two movements that have to be done explosively. One is the hip bridge. And the second is the arm swing all the way down. You have to do this in conjunction, conjunction with your function, and you just go. <laughs> Sorry, my mind. <laughs> all right, here we go. So I'm trapping her. I got her. I'm like, what are you going to do, bro? Boom. So you can then hug me tight here. OK? Now I, I'm, I'm stuck. I, can't, I can do this, but she's not going to be here forever. She's going to now go up, trap my arm, trap my leg. Same thing, trap me. See? Easy, right? <laughs> so from that explosive movement, she's going to get out of this position where she you seemingly are like, oh, I'm proud. It's like, if she tries to get out any other way, no hip bump. She's trying to wrestle me out, right? Trying to, trying to... See? Nothing. 
But if you do the right move, destabilize the person, throw them off you, smooth up, tap the arm, tap the leg, and go. Okay, so that is the assist. Now, what if somehow you don't want to just escape? Let's say they attack you and you want to do something, return the favor. Right. You're like, okay. You want some of this? You want some of this? Jesus. Just hold on. All right, so, what, okay, so let's say what you want to do is usually when you get to the ground and you want to do an attack or a counterattack, you will do what we call a guard. You let them go between your legs. Yes, it is a predicament. It looks strange, but you can do so many wonderful things from there. All uh, right, not in that way though. Okay, not in that way. Okay, so let's say I'm here. I'm about. I'm choking her. Okay, this is what we call an arm bar. Okay, she goes here. You know, goes here. Put the leg on. And oh, oh, oh. break arm. Easy, right? So easy. So the way that's done is she uses her legs to pivot her hips, trapping her legs over my neck. Then she uses her hips and legs to drop me to the ground while pulling my arm in. Now my arm. This part is stuck on her leg. All she has to do is bridge up, pull my arm down, and out my bone comes flying out the other end. <laughs> That's what you want, right? You want that, uh, the, the other person to be like, what happened? Okay, so here we go again, just one more time. Very good. Okay. Okay, next one. Let us, I'm going to punch her in the face. She doesn't have both of my arms. She has only one arm. So you're going to stop my arm with this leg, then swoop it around my neck, and then what do you call it? Triangle choke. And she's going to go, oh, you can hear my boy. <laughs> I sound like Sneagle, right? <laughs> or, or Yoda, a weird Yoda. Um, stronger the force you are. Okay, so, so, so the triangle is what she'll do if she has that going. Okay, we'll do it one more time, and then I'll show you what would happen if. Okay. All right, so we'll do it one more time. We go for a punch. She stops it with her leg, and she swoops it around, pushes my arm across, right in the <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Goody. Now, let's say, now we're playing with power, okay? Let's say someone is super strong, and they're just like, oh, I don't, I don't want to get choked. I want to get out of this. Let's do this. Um, so... What if someone's like, like really strong? They want to like get out of it by standing up and power bombing you, which is very possible, by the way. If you watch any UFC fights or whatever, they, someone will do the triangle and they got to pick them up and slam them. So how do you get out of this? Let's change it up. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna punch her in the face. She goes here. She thinks she goes to choke. I'm like, no, ma'am. No, thank you. She goes for my legs. She goes, up, goes the full. I try to push her up. She does the gift wrap. I'm the gift wrap. I say, get up. She does the rear naked choke. <laughs> As you see, she just learned to go with the flow. <laughs> learn to go with the flow, and that's the that's the important thing. What you need to learn in self defense, you will be overpowered. There are times your techniques will not work. You'll miss a just a slight inch off the grab. You'll you'll lose. One nook on the uh, on the on the hold. You have to be ready to adapt. Combat is chaos, but the more you study self defense, the more martial arts, you can start controlling that chaos, and even be a director. Person doesn't know you're directing them where to go, but you are directing them. But that's only comes with training. So as you see there, she knew what she was doing. She was like, "All right, I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna gift wrap." Most people, when they're in, they're about, they feel their, their body turning, their instinct is to keep turning. So she's like, okay, good. Let me get this, ne let me get this guy's neck. Then she goes for a choke. Now, even if I some she haven't somehow slipped the choke, she has other things that she can do from there. Which, let's say for example, it turns into a striking match. So, go ahead, on the So now the last, last bit of thing we wanna go over is strike. So, why is this the last thing? Striking is an escalator, what I like to call it. So let's say someone's attacking you, and you, they don't know you know how to fight. They don't know you know self-defense. So their adrenaline level is this, is this, is this level. Okay? 
But once you, they don't tell you this, that does not stop a person who really wants to hurt you. They will be more pissed off, more adrenaline, more aggression, and that is the scary part. I mean, even though I have trained, I still don't want to deal with someone who's pissed off. Because they have one thing that is very difficult to take down, and it's called tenacity. When you have tenacity, it doesn't matter how hard you punch or kick somebody, they will somehow keep coming at you. Same thing with drugs, right? Yes, yes. very good. Yeah. One time I was working at Super Target, and I was talking to the security guard. He told me the story of a guy who was on cocaine, 130-pound guy on cocaine. It took four security guards to take him down. <laughs> Four grown, much higher, heavier, and stronger people to take a 130-pound guy because he was on cocaine. So yes, persons on drugs, they will not stop from just a kick in the crotch or a punch in the face. And they don't feel pain as much. They don't feel pain as much. So you want to learn how to be safe. Hug them. Keep tight. Do things that will keep you relatively safe. Use leverage. Be smart. Hugs, not drugs. <laughs> Hugs, not drugs. <laughs> Because in the end, that's that's what you want to do. Is you want to come home, still look beautiful, still look beautiful, coming home. It's like, oh, how was your day? Oh, I got I, someone tried to mug me, <laughs> but you know, like you, you don't look like you got mugged. No, I know, I know how to, I know how to defend. Myself. So striking, right? Yes. At one point, maybe the the fight doesn't go according to plan, and you have to throw down. Hopefully, you don't have to do this. But we also teach it just in case you do have to throw down. Now, oh, oh, take, oh sorry, take off the list first, just real quick. I have to show you, explain to you something real quick. Don't punch anybody in the face, okay? <laughs> Unless you've trained in karate or or kung fu, and you have hit like a bell or wood for a long time, your knuckles are solid steel or wood, whatever rock. Don't punch. Open hand, okay? Um, my sensei said. Uh, the best thing to know in striking is hard to soft, soft to hard. Soft surface on a hard surface, which is like the bone. Hard surface on soft surface, muscle, ribs, something like that, neck. Okay. So hard to soft, soft to hard is very important because if I'm coming to hit her and she has, if she's going to punch me, let's say she punches me here, like here, punch, punch, boom. I'm gonna get hurt, but she's gonna possibly break her fist. Now if she open hands, boom, then my jaw is messed up, but her hand is still okay. So that's the one major thing if you wanna take away from striking, if you don't know how, any of striking, open hand. No slapping though, okay? <laughs> no slapping. Palm, okay, palm in the face, up the nose, in, you know, any, anywhere here, palm strikes, no slapping, okay, but we'll, we'll go to that. So, Stop the hard parts. Okay, now I'm going to have Now we use the gloves because, you know, it's more fun. Um, we definitely want y'all to train physically also. And it, it has a good sound. It has a good sound with the mitt. So you go over drills. You, you work on singular punches. So we, we teach basic punches first, like let's say jab here. Okay, you can do that open hand too. Jab here, all right? Work that. You work that until your shoulder is like falling off because that's how you develop it into your muscle memory. You have to keep training. Okay, then we go into cross here. Okay, cross here. Cross here. Okay, and then we start combining punches. Okay, hook here, uppercut here. Okay, so now we have a mid system that we teach is whatever the mid's position is, that's the combo you throw. Okay, so this is combo number one or mid position one here. Just like that. Okay, once she sees that, she knows that's the combo she throws. If I try to hit over the head like this, she swings, pop the leaves, swing, pop the leaves, body here. Now if the mitts are positioned like this, the double jab cross, pop weave under, cross. Okay? Now you can put that together, make it look really nice and fancy here, here. She needs to look like she knows what she's doing. Right? I don't even have to like look at her. And she knows what she's doing right here. Okay? So easy, right? So easy. <laughs> It's like it starts becoming muscle memory, and you, you do this enough, and she also can start, you know, just chilling and talking at one point. Right now she's not talking, demonstrating. <laughs> but you want to get to the point where it's just muscle memory, and you're just throwing punches, you're bobbing, weaving, slipping punches here, slipping punch here, boom, whatever. And she, even if she messes up, she'll adapt on the fly. 
sets that you want to do. You want to be able to maneuver the deck. Because sometimes you will miss a, a, a block or a hit or a slip. You'll be like, oh crap! I hope they didn't see that. <laughs> but you learn how to adapt. And that's what it's all about. It's just learning how to do the moves, be in the chaos, but learn how to control not only the chaos, but yourself while you're in the storm. Because in the end, being calm, composed, but yet being highly alert and aggressive at the same time, that balance will help you in defending yourself. Um, that's all we have for now. Yes.